Hello, and welcome to Motown by the Book, a series dedicated to exploring books about Motown. My name is Sheila Spencer, General Manager of Motown Museum. So call the kids and grandkids, because in today's edition of Motown by the Book, you'll be treated to a special reading of Frankie Finds the Blues, a Motown-inspired children's book written by acclaimed author, Joel Harper, and read by musician Chris Pierce. Frankie Finds the Blues is now available at our Motown Museum store, and we'll be randomly giving away four copies to fans who comment on this video. So without further ado, here's Chris Pierce for the reading of Frankie Finds the Blues. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Pierce, a singer-songwriter from Southern California, and I'm thrilled today to be with you all virtually at the Motown Museum for National Book Reading Month. I was heavily influenced by the sounds of Motown growing up, so this is particularly uh, wonderful for me uh, to be here uh, with you all today. And another reason it's extremely special to me is I'll be reading a book uh, written by one of my childhood friends, Joel Harper. Today I've been asked to read Frankie Finds the Blues, story by Joel Harper, and pictures by Gary Kelly. Hello? Hello, Frankie. Hi, Grandma, what's up? I have two tickets to a blues concert tonight. Would you like to join me? asked Frankie's grandmother. What kind of music is blues? asked Frankie. I like hip hop. If you like hip hop, I think you'll enjoy the show. Hip hop came from the blues, said his grandmother. Really? replied Frankie. Sure, let's go. The music is beautiful, Frankie whispered to his grandmother. It sounds like he's playing ten guitars at the same time. That's called finger picking, she whispered back. I'll explain it more after the concert. The music made Frankie feel like he was taken on a journey. Finger picking originated from African American blues guitarists in the South over a hundred years ago. The thumb holds down the bass notes, thump, thump, thump. And the other fingers play the treble notes. Ping, twang, ping, ping, twang. It's not easy to learn, but you can do anything you set your mind to, Frankie, said his grandmother. How was the concert, asked Frankie's mother as he dashed through the door and out the back. It was amazing. I have to find my guitar. Isn't it in the garage somewhere? I'm going to learn how to finger pick and play the blues. And mom, did you know that People from Africa were taken away from their families and brought to the United States. They had to work all day for free. They sang work songs to help them feel better, which developed into the blues. And that is where hip hop came from. I learned all about that at the concert. That's right, sweetheart, said Frankie's mother. Music was the one thing that could not be taken away from them.
He tried to learn to play guitar by listening to the music his grandmother bought him at the concert, but he needed some help. During Frankie's first lesson, he remembered why he stopped playing the guitar. It was hard work and it hurt his fingers. But this time, he would not give up. Frankie, you always play the same song. Can you play hip hop on the guitar? Frankie dreamed that one day he would learn how to play the blues. Frankie liked to play the guitar in the park across the street from his house. Sounding real good, came a voice just from over Frankie's shoulder. It was the fellow he often saw sleeping on the park benches and collecting cans around the neighborhood. Thank you, replied Frankie. I'm trying to learn how to finger pick and play the blues. Do you play an instrument? I played the guitar growing up. Do you know how to play the blues? To Frankie's amazement, he began listening to the most beautiful music. The park paused to listen. Can you teach me how to play like that? As long as it's all right with your parents, I suppose I could try. My name is Walter. My name is Frankie. I have to go and do my homework now. I'll see you tomorrow. S same time, same place. Same time, same place it is, replied Walter. Hey mom, guess what? I met a guitar player in the park today. He said he'd give me lessons. His name is Walter and he knows how to play the blues. You want to take guitar lessons from a man in the park? You know better than that to talk to strangers, Frankie said his mother. I know, Mom, but I, I see him around town all the time, and I think he lives in the park. You mean the man with the bedroll on his back looking for food in garbage cans? He plays the guitar, replied Frankie's mother. Yes, that's him. He's collecting cans, Mom. He recycles them for money. He's been in this community for as long as I can remember, said Frankie's grandmother. The next day after school, Frankie took his mother and grandmother to the park to meet Walter. Good day, sir, said Frankie's mother. My son says that the two of you discuss guitar lessons. Yes, ma'am. Please call me Walter. Walter Brown. I may be homeless, but I'm harmless. I'm not sure how I feel about this, said Frankie's mother. But, Mom, I want to learn how to finger pick. Walter, please take my guitar. Play a song for him. Walter wailed out one beautiful note after the other. Sitting here, listening to the birds, try not to let life pass me by, 
Will I make it back to that place that I Home. And his fingers hammered down on the guitar strings. Thump, thump, ping, 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 thump, thump. Your music sounds wonderful, said Frankie's mother. Well, thank you, ma'am. Please call me Ida, and this is Frankie's grandmother, Marion. Where did you learn how to play the guitar, asked Marion. My father taught me how to play when I was about your age, Frankie. Frankie's mother and grandmother were both won over by Walter's sincerity and his melodic music. Frankie was so grateful for the guitar lessons that he used his money from his own savings and bought Walter a guitar. They continued to play music together, often attracting crowds of people that would stop and enjoy the music. And at the very last page it says, you can't judge a book by looking at the cover. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, everybody. And thank you to the Motown Museum. Thank you to Joel Harper for the invitation to read his wonderful book, Frankie Finds the Blues. My name is Chris Pierce. Hope to see you all somewhere along the dusty road. Have a good day. Goodbye.